Hello and welcome to Diversity, Inclusion, Compassion, Kindness, and Comics. I have a special episode tonight. I am not going to be doing a comic book review or a comic book death match, even though I just came back from the store and I got X-Men Red, which is wonderful. I hope they take on the pay gap again. The gender pay gap was their last issue. And uh, the next Supergirl, which uh, last time she had a non-binary friend, but then we had a tragedy. And then look at this one, Exiles, number one. And then Domino with uh, Gail Simone. Oh, my God, she's wonderful. Who doesn't love her? I got some Thanos, uh, Ron. I got a bunch of stuff, but really, you know, uh, I'm mostly excited. Oh, I also got Ethan's here. This is Ethan, no? Yeah, that he's his Green Lantern. I got that. So uh, I have a lot of books to review, but that's not what I'm doing today. Today I'm going to talk about a few, uh, maybe about a week or two ago, I, I went on, uh, I started exercising. You know, spring is here, you know, and I, I, I put on a tremendous amount of weight again over the winter. Uh, just, I, I, lo- I look like a mess. And I can't jog because it would just smash my knees to powder. It would uh, smash the hell out of them, to be honest with you. So what I'm doing is I started, I wanted to do something like a cool exercise. So I started to do speed walking because it's just a cool looking exercise. So I'm just, you know, I'm tooling around the neighborhood and I'm speed walking along and I see a yard sale and I go over and this woman has this box, this box that I'm holding. And it's just loaded with comic-related stuff. So I might have got ripped off. I paid $5. I usually don't like to pay that much for this kind of stuff. But I said, I'll give you 5 for the whole box. I was in a good mood. She's very old. She was a, a frail little thing. Uh, she was got to be in her early to mid-80s. And uh, she was just a, the sweetest old woman. She was made of paper. She was so... You know, she was so uh, elderly and old, and I, I got I got along f- fine with her. She was very nice, <clears throat> so I, I offered her the five dollars, and she took it. So I got this here, the Origins of Marvel comics, but then I noticed, look, the back cover is ripped off. I didn't know that. I would have only given her maybe three dollars for this box, but. Whatever, so she got me. Maybe I could get it back. I'll tell you the rest of the story. Then I got these oversized, these giant comics. They're like, um, look, they have the Morbius uh, vampire. They're all Spider-Man, but they're very, this one is like in, looks like it was printed yesterday. It's beautiful. Um, it's just in perfect condition. And uh, I may do a death match with this one. I, I don't know if Shreddy could eat this if it, uh, if it lost. You know, if it goes up against one of uh, a Supergirl or an X-Men Red, it's pretty much got no chance. So, you know, we'll see. So I got that. I got another one that's called Holiday Grab Bag. It's got all uh, Namor and who else? Yeah, it's got you know, Hulk, first thing. Look at that Hulk face. He looks like a, a defensive lineman for uh, the 77... Philadelphia Flyers. He doesn't, I don't like, he looks like a hockey player. He doesn't look like the Hulk. But what are you going to do? So I got this one. Oh, that's cool. It's the back view. They're coming through the wreath over there. It's a holiday. Wonderful. Oh, I got to talk to you about this. This is like a, the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's from a newspaper, 1986, in New York Newsday. It's like a a special child abuse thing, and it's about how uh, Spider-Man catches, catches, it looks like Mary Jane is trying to molest this kid, and she's like, don't tell anyone, and 
Spider-Man comes bursting in and Mary Jane runs out of here and she's like, remember what I said? And he's like, oh, thank God Spider-Man's here. And Spider-Man's like, tell me what happened. And he's like, I guess I can tell you. And he's like, you know, we're horsing around, me and MJ. And then she said she'd stay up and, and let me watch what I wanted. And then she said, I'll let you watch Star, Star Wars, she said. Where is it say that? I couldn't believe it. Uh, uh, we could watch Star Wars tonight. She was using Star Wars. She said, if you stay up, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you, but you, we got to do one thing. She said, you got to take all your clothes off. I'm like, this is like an origin story for MJ I never heard of. And then he was like, I don't want it. And she's like, what, what's the matter? You shy? He's like, I'm tired. She's like, no way. Let's play grown-ups. And he's like, I don't want to. And then like, that's when you came over, Spider-Man, and stopped, and she ran away. So then Spider-Man is like, first of all, who knew Mary Jane was like this? And why would, why would Peter go out with her after this? Anyway, uh, what happened? He says, listen, I, listen, can talk, listen to me. I got a story to tell you. There's this kid named Peter. It's him, but you know, he's not giving away his secret of identity. You have to kill him or something. But he tells him a story. He's like, yeah, I met this guy, and he was nice to me. And then he took me over to his house to play pool. And he gave me a girly magazine, and I was like, and then he was like, this guy molested the shit out of me. And then uh, he tells the kid, and the kid's like, oh, so it's not my fault. He's like, no, no, he said, we're going to go tell uh, your parents. And then he's like, I'll give you a swing around. Hey, this part was questionable to me. After the stories they're telling, you know, maybe, uh, maybe you don't give them a swing around town. You don't have to be so handsy. But uh, anyway, they go and tell the kid's parents. I don't know what happened to MJ. I don't know if this is canon, if this was, uh, you know, something that continued over into the comic books. Oh, wait, there's some more. I didn't read this part. It looks like, what is this? More? Oh, look, it's Power Pack. I didn't even see this whole part. So I'll read that another day and review it. Anyway, some crazy shit in 1986. So that was in the box. Then also in the box was this thing. Marvel Superheroes a T TSR. That's the... Uh, so this is like a Dungeons and Dragons, but they use, you know, uh, superheroes. You know, and I don't know what I could do with this. What am I going to do? Play with myself? I mean, Jesus Christ, uh, I uh, <laughs> play with myself enough as it is. So anyway, it's got this. It looks like it was never even used. It's got, uh, it's got dice and yeah. Look, these guys weren't even punched out of the thing yet. It's got oh, it's got a map, a map of New York. Anyway, so that's uh. Let me put this in here. Maybe I'll give this away. Does anybody interested? Leave a thing in the comments. I owe somebody a prize from last thing. Maybe I'll. If you're listening to this, the guy who won, tell me if you want this thing. Maybe I'll send you this. So. Or tell me what you like, because I have so many comics I just got to get rid of. Then there's a, a thing of postage stamps with uh, 41 cents. That's got to be the 90s. I don't know. Anyway, those look cool. Then we got from 1986, we got uh, Mad Magazine with Miami Vice. They're interrogating Alfred E. Newman. And then, then we got uh, they're lampooning Reagan. This is from 1985. Good, take them down a notch, you know? Then we have uh, more trash from Mad, Super Special 1986. Oh, this guy looks cool. Then we have the uh, Back to the Future uh, issue uh, from 1986. Very good. They're also lampooning uh, Honeymooners and Cocoon. Then this is something I never saw before. There's a Punisher magazine. It's not a comic book. It's like a bigger size magazine. Um, and it's got all these... Uh, it's got some cool stuff in here. Anyway, I'm, not gonna, I'm just showing you what I got. I'm not going to talk about everything, all right? I want to be done. This is a short video. Oh, it's already 10 minutes almost. Jesus Christ. So, so uh, you know, the woman said... I said to her... This, oh, so there's some more Conan. So I said, do you have comic books? What I would really like to do is buy comic books. So she said, uh, yes, I got comic books. They're, they're all up in the attic. And she said, they're very, very heavy, and my back hurts. She was doing the yard sale that day. And uh, she said, they're, they're very heavy. If you want, uh, you could go up 
and bring the boxes down and go through them. And I said, you know, I heard very heavy and I said, oh, pass. You know, she said, my back hurts. So I said, you know what? Here's my number. You call me when your back feels better and you can bring them down. Uh, and I'd love to take a look at them. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not slave labor. If you want to sell it, you got to get it. I, I mean, the next thing you know, I'm cleaning the gutters. If uh, you go and you, it, it's like feeding a cat. You can't do it at once. You know, you can't help an old person just once. They never stop asking. So I, I used my judgment on that one. And I, uh, I, uh, I, I said, you know, you, when you carry them down, I'll come over and look at them. Maybe I'll buy some. So this is called The Punisher Graphic Novel. I don't know what year this is from. It's by Joe Duffy, Assassin's Guild. Oh, this could be problematic. It looks like some sort of Asian stereotypes going on here. Don't kill everyone, Frank, okay? Let me see. I never saw this. This looks like it was printed yesterday also. Okay. What year is this from? Uh, who knows? Anyway, then this is like a sticker book from... Uh, from oh, look, one of the stickers came out. Dr. Destiny. They call him Dr. Destiny. It must have been from another country. The names are off. That's Dr. Doom. Scorpion is yellow for some reason. Why aren't you focusing, you goddamn... Oh, there you go. And then... Who's this guy? Ram, Rhino? Rhinoceros. He's Rhino. Ram? Never heard of him. The god Nephorus. Anyway, this is just like slightly off-brand Marvel comics. Everything's the Avenger. Who the hell is it? I never heard of these people. Dr. Destiny. Anyway, superhero sticker book. Interesting. If you guys want to see more of this stuff, let me know. I'll do longer videos on them. This is what got me interested. It was all these quarterly reports from the early 90s, 91, 92, 93. Uh, Marvel was on the stock market. It was a publicly traded company. And this is the way they used to give their reports with the financials. And it came with a sheet of cards, uncut. And uh, it was like a comic book style. Um, very interested. I got my interest. I, You know, I used to walk, work on... Wall Street before I imploded my whole life and uh, blew it all in a one giant K-hole. But that's a story I've already told and I don't want to get myself depressed. But I blew it. But anyway, this was interesting because I did work in finance. But look at this. This is the way they did their quarter, quarterly reports. It's Stan Lee talking to the investors through Spider-Man. There's the numbers. Very interesting. Here's an annual report. This one's a little, got a little more meat to it. That's good. Okay, another Mad Magazine. So, I ha oh, oh, look at this. This is a Datsun a patch for your, for your jacket or your hat. If anybody wants a Datsun patch, let me know. I got one cheap. Okay, so the follow-up story to this whole thing is I'm walking, I'm doing my power walking, you know, and I'm going by, and I'm going by the same house this morning, and I see the woman, and I say, oh, how's your back, did you, did you, did you feel better, and she said, oh, no, she thinks she's got, like, a, she may have a slipped disc, she said, I said, oh, geez, I'm never going to get these comics out of her uh, attic at this rate, with her back being so bad, so I said to her, would you mind running up there now, and just just grab me a, a bag full, of, or as much as you can carry. I'll take a look. And she went up, and she came back with a bag. And, and it, was, it was cool. She said she just grabbed all of one kind. So, hold on. i got to put this down to get it out of the bag. This is just from this morning. So, she gave me, it was a full run of uh, John Carter, Warlord, Marvel Comics. It's the full run, every single issue. So, it's, I don't know, I don't know much about John Carter series, but it's like 50 comics. It's, a, it's the whole entire run. It's got from one, two, three, the whole run. Let me see where it ends. I don't know how many there actually are. Okay. Not 50. 28 plus annuals. It's about 30 comics. 
So it's, it was a, a good thing. So I gave her, I gave her $3 for this. I, again, I overpaid, but I felt bad because she was, she was breathing heavy when she came back from the attic. And I kind of felt like if she drops dead, I don't want to rip her off too bad. So I gave her the full three bucks. I probably should have gave her 250, but whatever, you know, you can't cry over 50 cents. But anyway, I gave her the three dollars and I told her, uh, you know, I'm going to be walking around about this time every day. Hopefully, God, you know, if I stick to my goddamn exercising. But, uh, you know, each day go up and bring down another set. And if I like it, I'll buy it. So I'll, I'll see what she, what she gets me. But this was nice. This was like to have a complete run of, a, a, even though I'm not really that interested, but I, I'm going to read them. And you know what? These are classic ones, and they look like they may be a little misogynistic, so I could shred a couple of them if they go up against, you know, uh, X-Men Red or whatever. Let me know if you want to see any of these John Carters go up against uh, X-Men Red or Supergirl. What the hell was the other one? All right, I've already gone. Now, now, now this is a ridiculously long video. I don't even know if I'm going to post this. Uh, anyway, God bless you all. Uh, thank you for listening to my nonsense. And uh, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. And follow me on Twitter if you like uh, nonsense like this. Okay, bye. I don't want to change the world. I'm not looking for a new England. I'm just looking for another girl. Looking for a New England I'm just looking for another girl